I had this conflict inside of me because it, I don't know how it is in every denomination, but in Baptist churches, when it's time to take communion, it's a very serious moment of focus and confession of sin. But it's also very much spelled out that this is a symbol that Jesus gave us to remember him by. And I began to have questions. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember quite when those questions began, probably somewhere in college or a little after college. But first of all, why are we being so serious if this is a symbol? Why, do I, why am I confessing sins for this? I don't get it. And why is this such a, a somber mood, almost like I'm at a funeral? And eating a cracker and drinking some juice, why, how, why, how am I remembering Jesus in this? I'm not. So it's when I began to think about this, too, as I, as a pastor, would preach on John 6, where Jesus would talk about eating his flesh and drinking his blood. And if you don't do that, you can't have eternal life. I would begin thinking, well, how do you eat his flesh and drink his blood? And it's important for me to know this because he said you can't have eternal life if you don't. This moment I'm with Sister Margaret and she's uh, explaining what Catholics call transubstantiation or this moment when the bread transforms into the body of Christ, the blood transforms into the blood of Christ. I'm sitting at the table eating lunch and I just... I just thought I would pitch the question to her. Why do you guys believe in the literal presence of Jesus in the Eucharist? <laughs> and her response is, because Jesus said so. And I, and I think I put it in more concrete terms, like, why do you believe the bread is his body? Because Jesus said so. And at that point, I had, as I said in the Journey Home episode, I uh, was just done at that point with this theology where you take this verse, this verse, this verse, this verse, put them together and come to a conclusion, and you do these circles around the Scriptures to get to your theology. And when she says, because Jesus said so, like, what kind of a theology is this, you know? And I, I asked her, I said, what do you mean Jesus said so? She said, well, at the Last Supper. And I was feeling stupid. Uh, here I am, a pastor, asking this, this religious sister, uh, what do you mean? He said so. I should have known it. But she's like, no, he, he took the bread and said, this is my body. So he meant, this is my body. And I was flabbergasted. I'm like, what kind of a theology is this where if Jesus says, this is my body, then you believe it? <laughs> it's just like, it was refreshing at the same time. It's like, oh, wow, now I don't have to kill a bunch of brain cells to figure out this theology. If Jesus said, this is my body, then I can just take it. <laughs>